Hey guys, I'm back. Now that's cool and all, but picture this. You're pitted against 63 other people in a fight to the death. There are guns such as a simple pistol to a goddamn minigun, bulletproof vests to protect yourself, explosives, and the use of chemical warfare to force people to the center of the map. And the last one alive is called the winner. Sounds cool, right? Okay, just imagine everything I said but everyone is wearing a fursuit, and all of those fursuits have clothing ranging from pretty normal to you having no social life. This is Super Animal Royale, although it's known as SAR, or if you want to be plural, SARS. It's a free top-down battle royale game that I put maybe a little bit too much time into. But some of you may be saying, how can we trust this guy? He says that he's not free in the title, but I have numerous trust issues in the recent months with my current investments. First off, put your gun away scares me makes me want to bring out my own and the atf wouldn't like that but if you need more proof here's my desktop don't worry i'm a clean man gameplay a regular game of super animal royale consists of one getting your early gear two losing your first fight three retrying but in all honesty you should be able to win a game if you are good enough or lucky enough every now and then or you can just play with somebody that's way better than you. And in order to get good, you must learn the guns. Guns go pew, all guns do a different kind of pew, shoot enemy to kill, simple. Which brings me to health and armor. You might be wondering, how would a savage animal restore their health? Raw meat? Cooked meat? School lunch meat? No, are you stupid? We drink from a sippy cup, like real men. In this weird and dystopian world, we also obtain our health and bullets in a different way, from Mother Nature. I don't know why, but I really like this. You want to know how to live longer? Wear armor. There are three different types of armor going from absorbing one hit to three. Or, how I like to describe it, you're fucked in a fight to not as fucked in a fight. That's why I enjoy the sniper rifle, because tormenting kids by destroying all three of their armor points brings me immense satisfaction. You can also repair your armor by using super tape, because regular tape is a little too boring. Now you see yourself, sadly walking and diving around. But you know what's cooler? Hamster balls. I don't know why, but I have a strange impulse whenever I find one to use it no matter what. I always try to run into people with the hamster ball, because it can do this. And there's another thing you can use for mobility, emus. Uh, to be honest, you can just put them down, at least in solos. Because in duos, if you have two people on an emu, the second person can whip it to make it run faster for a short period of time. Which is definitely a feature. It's a little weird, but whoever developed that should get a rate. Power-ups are also very useful, as they give you additional advantages. I could go into the specifics of all of them, but here's a tier list. Have fun. Now let me bring up something else that is very important. Sightlines. Sightlines are basically how a child would play hide and seek. If I can't see you, you can't see me. You have to get used to sightlines in this game because it depicts whether you win a fight or lose one, and also if you get away from an enemy that's chasing you or are dying to them. I swear, this is the only game where you can get into a half-broken hamster ball and chase someone going into a tent and then proceed not only to miss him, but also play ping pong with the walls of the tent. Luckily for me, he also manages to miss all of his shots other than one of them, destroying my beloved hamster ball. I then proceed to walk around the tent to make him think I ran away and to catch him off guard. And me being smarter than Einstein, this works perfectly. This game is truly amazing. As being crowned the best Super Animal Royale player unanimously by absolutely no one, I have some tips for you. 1. Don't drop into any of the bigger areas. I always like to go into these tiny construction areas because hardly anyone goes there. 2. The dual pistols are goaded and are better than the SMG and the bows and the sparrow launchers suck, don't use them. 3. You can eat mushrooms and coconuts and use campfires to recover HP if you're low on health juice. We don't need to question if those are safe to consume mushrooms or how we are just eating a whole coconut, so we can just move on. And 4. 
You should really look out for when the game tells you the skunk gas is approaching. I know this may seem obvious, but I can't tell you the amount of times I've just been chilling, and then I see out of the corner of my eye a huge wall of skunk gas zooming across the screen. There are also two extra game modes rather than just Battle Royale, those being Saw vs Rebellion, where it's two teams battling it across three separate control points. Each team's points gradually lowers to zero and the first one to zero loses. Claiming control points helps speed up the lowering process of the other team's points. This game mode has four separate classes to choose from, and you get an upgraded version of that class for one life every four kills. If I'm being honest, I cannot comment on any other class rather than the sniper because I'm training to become the next American Sniper, but furry edition. Wish me luck. And another thing, this game has either been a sweep for my team, or a sweep from the other team. I don't know if my team just sucks around 50% of the time, or if I suck around 50% of the time. I'll just say one thing. I'm trying to get my percentage up for multiple uses. And the other game mode, Infection, where there has been a horrific zombie chicken outbreak, and you and your fellow survivors have to team up to hold off the zombie chickens long enough to be picked up, and sent off to prison for multiple cases of being a furry. And yes, I did just make this video just to show this clip of me winning infection as the last survivor. You're welcome. All in all, Super Animal Royale is a very fun game and is worth your time. It's free on Steam and has nothing that is paid to win, which I highly commend. And on a final note, this has probably been one of the nicest communities for a game that I've ever seen. I don't think I've seen anyone toxic in this game within the 50 plus hours I have played it. Which is really impressive for an online competitive multiplayer game, which my friend doesn't exactly seem to understand. I give it a 4.5 first suits out of 5. This game has a lot of stuff to see and explore, like I'd even mention any of the little secrets you can find around the map which adds a lot of character to the world. This game has fun gun mechanics. But fuck grenades, they're really fucking good. Probably too good. I would nerf them. So that changes the score of 4.5 out of 5 to far more reasonable 0 out of 5. Thank you so much for watching. Sub if you feel like it. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> you can join this? Wait, hold Hamster on. balls. And Fortnite stole from Super Animal Royale. No way. <laughs> this is awesome. Somebody tell the devs of Super Animal Royale to fucking suit Fortnite.